feeling like a pity party. And looking like a champion. Bah. You know, I just came out here to say hi to my boo. It's funny because I know that he's not here here and people make a habit of telling me that. You know, like, he's not there, he's in heaven. That's just his body. And it's like, well, it doesn't really matter because I can feel close to him here. It's still a memorial to him. It's still important to me. Just funny things people say. And I'm sure I've probably said the same thing. There's our lanterns. Some lanterns for Jake. <sighs> I um, wasn't planning on stopping by today. I just got a massage. Jake's sister is a massage therapist. And so I went and got a massage. and feeling nice and relaxed. From a crappy day. And the place that she does massage is right by the cemetery and so I thought, oh, it's really hard for me to be so close and just drive by and not stop. And be here and even though I know it's just his body here, I do still feel his spirit here. I feel like he comes to hang out with me. Um, yeah, still feeling super tired and emotional from our anniversary, which was on Sunday, and it's Wednesday now. Yay, Wednesday. Yeah, it's been a rough week, starting with our anniversary, and then two days later being five months, so we've hit five months, and... It sucks. And now being a Wednesday, so it's like all these anniversaries. Um, our marriage anniversary and the 22nd anniversary and then the Wednesdays. Always the Wednesdays. They're always fun. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on in my head. Today's been kind of a crummy day. I've been like a crummy but good day. Like I've I've realized that I need to give myself like slow down a little bit. Like our anniversary was like so crazy and it was good. Like I, I liked commemorating and doing what we did. But it was still like, like it was a busy day. And since then I've been so tired and but I've also realized like it's okay to sleep in today it's okay to take a nap in the middle of the day like today I don't even know what I've done today like I did clean my I did some dishes I did some dishes today on my day off and I get my lashes done we got an amazing lash artist. Her name is Erica. Um, but other than that, you know, I've just kind of relaxed. I've been watching all sorts of other YouTube channels um, from other widowers, widows, and widowers. And it's funny because when I first like started my channel, I didn't see a lot out there. And it's still hard to find, but I'm finding more stuff. Granted, not all, I mean, none of us have the same situation, but then we do. You know, I'll, like, there's one gal that I'm watching that that has kids, you know, she lost her husband to cancer, and now she's remarried, you know, and it's totally a different situation, but yet a lot of her videos, like the emotions and things that are going through her head are the same, you know, or there's other young widows but you know we all have a different like way that our spouse passed away and but the emotions are still the same you know it sucks and it's indescribable I mean the things that they say like I'm like yes right there with you but it's hard not being in 
Like I wouldn't have understood unless I was in my shoes in, in where I'm at now. So that's difficult. It's difficult to explain what's going on in my head, explain how I'm feeling um, to others. And I guess I put on a pretty good front because most people don't know how I'm feeling. And a part of that front too, I think, is just coping. You know, if I think about Jake all the time, if I talk about Jake all the time, I lose it. And it's not because I like don't want to talk about him, because I love talking about him. And I miss him my best friend and my love but it's hard to talk about him it's hard to talk about you know because then I realized that that future there's a different future for me now and I don't really like that I don't really like thinking about the future or tomorrow what my options are or what will be because it doesn't include Jake and I don't like that. I hate that. <laughs> Let's be honest. And it's confusing. It's super confusing. You know, you get married to someone and you think that you're going to be with them forever. And yes, I do believe that I will be with him again. But I thought I'd be with him like here on this earth forever. So that sucks. Especially with how sudden it all was. Not that it makes it any less hard or not harder. I don't know, you know, like knowing that your spouse is gonna pass away. That's a whole other thing, a whole other can of worms that I don't know about. But just one day to the next, having these hopes, dreams, etc. And then just, you know, I, uh, I think that's what makes it all so surreal is because it just doesn't make sense how it could just, how your whole world can change within a couple hours. You know, you go to bed with someone, giggling and laughing and making out and, and stuff, and then they're gone. How does that happen? <sighs> Anyways, I just wanted to come down here. I like being here. I like looking in the reflection of Jake's headstone and seeing my face because I love seeing us together. I miss seeing us together. You know, I scroll through our videos and pictures and I like scrolling through our pictures and videos because I love thinking of memories, but then it's also so hard to realize that, that that's it as far as like memories like there's no there's no more to be made there's no more fun silly things to do together I think the last picture we took was March 17th, we went to Comic Con <laughs> dressed as Scully and Mulder. Jake loves sci fi. And I look at them and it just hurts that that's the last memory, you know, photograph memory that I have. Like, I have the memory of our last night together, but still, even then, like, I feel like it fades. And then I have to really think about it and remember every detail and everything that he said. But it's hard. 
like fighting for those memories it's super hard because even if I were to talk about it here like the feelings and everything from from those memories like it's so hard to keep them so fresh and so clean you wish you could just memorize everything about it and I'm not that good I try to so hard just cling on to them but it's super hard to remember everything and I hate that you know my those memories my new memories like I look at the pictures and and things that I've done since Jake's been gone and I've been trying to stay busy and find joy in every day you know I know that he would want me to find joy but I hate that he's not in those pictures I hate that he wasn't there or hasn't been here you know like I'm I'm glad that I'm getting out and doing things and it's been fun and I've been having so much fun with my family but he's not in those pictures he just wasn't there I hate that there's now now when I open up my like pictures my first ones aren't of things that me and Jake have done together because it's been enough time where I have these pictures that he's not in the first ones that pop up anymore. It's just like weird that time is going on. Life is going on. People are still living life. I'm living life and he's not here. Just confusing and hard and I have no idea what the point of this video is other than I'm just rambling and I just wanted to come here because it makes me feel better to see his cute face and it's just really peaceful here too it's funny me and Jake when we were dating we used to walk around the cemetery there's like a cement, you know, path in between the different areas, like where you can drive. And I have clear member memories of when we were dating, we would walk around the cemetery and just like talk about whatever, just because it was quiet and calm at night and it was just a good place to come talk. And now he's here. I don't know. Anyways, it's nice and calm. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Am I taking a picture? Yeah. Oh no, it's on video mode still. Oh, we got some sweet video. We did. <laughs>